Yeah, we certainly do. And Steve, the action really feels like now it's starting. The lights are on, the music is on, the batting cage is also being set up. The field is being prepped by crews right now. And the man who has seen this before joins me right now. This is Kevin Martinez with the Manners. Kevin, you said the last time we had the All-Star Game here in Seattle was 2001. Talk about the benefits the city saw last time. What can we expect this time? Yeah, well, what's so great for the city uh, and really the whole region is how many people come into uh, our area for this game. I was over at Playball Park yesterday and it was so great to see and talk with people who have come from all over the country and internationally. So it's a, it's a great showcase for our city and our region. And um, it, it just, it, it puts Seattle on a, on a global stage. And the Mariners own Julio Rodriguez is participating. One of the eight players that's gonna be in the Derby. He has a chance to make history. If he can win this, in his backyard, yeah. what does that mean for the team and also this franchise in the city? Well, we have a rich history in the Home Run Derby with Ken Griffey Jr. He's won it multiple times, and Julio came so close last year in Los Angeles. And he said, I had some unfinished business. It's time to get back and, uh, and do it in front of the home fans. Um, Julio is emerging as a face of Major League Baseball, and he's just such a delightful uh, young man and such an exceptional talent. This again, what a showcase for him and the organization. All right, well, thank you so much, Kevin. And so many thousands of fans are going to be cheering on Julio. They're confident he can do this and bring that victory later on today. And the Home Run Derby starts at 5 o'clock this evening. For now, we're live from T-Mobile Park this morning. Well, Hyder, come on news. It would be great. And Seattle has rolled out the red carpet for the thousands of visitors expected during the All-Star Week. In the last month, we've told you about efforts to clean up trash, graffiti, and also address homeless encampments. So we are asking those who are here for the first time their impressions. Do they feel safe? Como's Paul Rivera live near the ballpark tonight. And Paul, you talked with tourists downtown. What have they noticed? Well, they have certainly noticed a large police and security presence. That's something that we saw, too, in our time downtown. Something visitors say has certainly made them feel comfortable and has made them feel safe while visiting town. In the last month, let's take you back a little bit here. The city, they have really ramped up attempts to clean things up, like graffiti and trash. They'd also left 3rd Avenue South and Soto clean of litter, putting up no parking signs as the many RVs that were there had moved away. Today, we saw that work continuing with downtown ambassadors walking areas like 3rd Avenue and picking up litter on the ground. Now, one of the challenges that the city was not able to fix in time for the All-Star Week was homelessness, something that was very present near the areas where the events were happening over at the Westlake Center and in Pioneer Square. Have you noticed any homelessness or drug use or anything like that? Uh, just a little bit of ho homelessness. I mean, you know, most cities have that now. Haven't seen any real drug use. Do you feel safe walking around? Absolutely. Hi, everyone. I'm Preston Phillips from Como News. Thanks for checking out the Como YouTube channel. You can see more of our videos right here by clicking on the video links for more news from the Seattle area and western Washington. Oh, and don't forget to click the subscribe button below so you don't miss our YouTube updates.